joined by Amit Malviya, spokesperson of uh, the BJP and the IT head as well. Uh, very good evening to you, sir. There you go. The opposition candidate has been announced. That is uh, Margaret Alva, and that's the unanimous pick, except for TMC and AAP. How do you view that? The fact that the TMC and AAP haven't, uh, you know, supported this choice yet. In uh, Sharad Pawar says he's unable to contact them so far. But, uh, you know, they, they have been uh, some conspicuous omissions for the support. Well, it's good to see that the opposition has uh, named a candidate. It is always a good to have a contest and win it eventually. But this is, again, not a united opposition. Just like in the, pre in the presidential um, nominee, there were some opposition parties that broke ranks and have supported the NDA candidate. Similarly, you have the TMC and the Aam Aadmi Party, which is not part of uh, this uh, name that has been proposed by the opposition. So clearly, uh, much left to desire as far as the opposition is concerned. But the NDA has the requisite number to see uh, their nominee through, and we are quite confident that uh, Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar will be the next vice president of India. Well, yes, indeed, you do have the numbers. The interesting that you picked Jagdeep Dhankar. Uh, you are, uh, you know, of course, opposition saying that you did that pick because Rajasthan elections are coming up. He's a jat about 41 seats. Uh, you know, uh, the jats have about 41 seats in the house in Rajasthan. And also interesting that they've also gone ahead and picked Margaret Alva, who has been uh, the governor of uh, Rajasthan as well. Do you think uh, this was because you picked somebody from the region that the opposition has decided uh, to play that move as well? Look, as far as Rajasthan is concerned, in the last three elections, every time the BJP won the state, it won with a massive majority, and the Congress never crossed even the halfway mark. They had to come together with uh, independence to form government. So, um, electorally, this is not a decision that will have any sort of bearing on Rajasthan election because the BJP is going to win that state very comfortably, particularly since uh, Ashok Gehlot has done such a horrible job of running the government. Uh, but Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar brings with him great administrative, legal and constitutional experience as a member of parliament, um, as a minister, and then uh, as governor. So clearly his uh, standing... His experience will all be very handy as the chairperson of the Rajya Sabha. Not uh, to forget that he comes from an agrarian background, um, from Rajasthan, is an accomplished lawyer, represents the influential, perhaps even dominant chart community in parts of Rajasthan and Haryana. So all those aspects do help um, to bolster up his credentials, but he is the right man for the job for various other reasons of expertise and his uh, legal and constitutional understanding. All right. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us, Mr. Amit Malia. Thank you for sharing your views. And I will also join by Nasir Hussain from the Congress. Very good evening to you, sir. Margaret Alva there the, uh, being picked, a very worthy opponent indeed to um, Dhankar and uh, especially because she is somebody who's worked in the welfare um, area. She's worked as part of NGOs and of course has had a very decorated career over years uh, as the governor has served multiple terms and has also been an MP. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I, have, I have had the opportunity of working with uh, uh, Srimati Margaret Alwaji when she was General Secretary of AACC in charge of Maharashtra. I used to be uh, in the Congress uh, in charge of the youth Congress activities in Maharashtra. Uh, she has a, she has had a long career in politics, five times MP, and on various positions, both in the government and uh, uh, in the party. And also, uh, and also she has created lots of uh, uh, socio-cultural activities uh, in uh, Karnataka. And she has been a face of the uh, party for a long, long time. And then, uh, as a union minister, of course, she has taken up uh, uh, initiatives in uh, the various uh, reforms and bills. Uh, she has been one of the, uh, the out, one of the most outspoken uh, and progressive faces of Congress Party. And I think uh, 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 a person of this caliber, stature, I'm experienced, uh, should be elected as the vice president of uh, uh, our country. 
and I'm sure that if she was elected, she would she would be uh, she would do justice not only to the opposition, but also she will she will take stands on important issues in the country. So the fact that Jagdeep Dhankar is also from Rajasthan and that uh, she was also the governor of Rajasthan should we view that as a strategic move on your part uh, to match the BJP's pick, especially considering the Rajasthan elections are coming up? I don't, I don't think that, that uh, angle is there for this. Uh, uh, but the fact that she was governor, uh, long, uh, she had a long career in politics, active politics, five cents, and he's not a joke. Uh, union ministers, uh, union minister, and also she has been on the forefront of uh, various issues. And a woman and from, and from the minority community also. Uh, that is something which was, I think, taken into consideration. Uh, of course, she was also the governor. She has, uh, she has, uh, uh, I mean, immense experience in uh, uh, parliamentary uh, politics and parliamentary democracy in the country. And uh, a person of her stature will definitely do justice uh, not only to the uh, post of the vice president, but also bring grace. Uh, to the position that uh, she has already brought grace to the position she held in the past. She will also bring more grace to the uh, position of the uh, president, of uh, a position of the position of uh, a vice president in our country. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for joining us with your inputs. And now it's time uh, for a very short break on this bulletin, but stay tuned.